Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here, and we're here checking out ViewSonic's booth at uh, CES. And uh, what are we uh, checking out here specifically? Absolutely. Um, so we're really, we're really showcasing a lot of our future technologies. And the first machine here is really the TD2740. It's our projected capacitive 10 point touch. It's fully Windows 8 compatible. You get great interactivity, fully ergonomic features. If you look at, look at this, um, you can bend this all the way down. And it is really a feature that makes sense for people to use the touch functionality. It has an IPS panel, uh, great color accuracy with an integrated webcam. So use that as a webcam monitor as well. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's just really designed for connectivity. But the one in the middle is really our the, the technology showcase. This is our full HD uh, 4K display. So it's four times of a standard full HD monitor. Um, you can see from the pictures, it's great, great um, resolution, uh, super high clarity, great color. This is um, it's not the product that we're going to launch anytime soon, but you know this is something we should uh, we're we're always monitoring, and uh, um, hopefully we'll bring this product to the market when the time is right. The next one here is our smart display, VSD240. Um, it's a self-Android system by itself. So it's Jelly Bean 4.1, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. It, it's got the Tegra 3 quad-core processor. It's super fast. But the neat thing about this is you can always use that as a standalone monitor if you like to. And also with the dew-point optical touch, it's an Android tablet, and also uh, it's a giant Android tablet, and also it's a touch monitor when you need it. So that's everything in a nutshell. Okay, just a, co a couple questions about the products. These are um, very huge uh, monitors, if you will, computers. Uh, and uh, can you kind of walk us through the, the different sizes of uh, the inch, the square, uh, the square inch? It's a 27 inch. Uh, by the name of the product, is TD2740. So uh, we want to make sure the name is as intuitive as possible. So you can tell from the name, it's a 27 inch. This is our VP3280. Um, so it's a 32 inch. 4K display. On, on, the, on the machine we have device we have here is the VSD240. So it's a 26.6, 23.6 viewable, but it's a 24 inch um, smart display. Uh, and uh, regard, considering these are kind of like computers, um, did you guys feel like there was a market for giant size uh, monitor screens? Uh, well, this one is really by, it's a monitor by itself. This one is a monitor. The only one with a self-contained system is our Android Smart Display. Um, we're looking at the we're looking at more, less PC consumptions as we go year year round. So this is Android. Eventually, it will become this PC-less computing trend as we forecast. Eventually, you're going to see less PC and more smart dis displays in in the market where people are. Uh, using this smart display as their primary um, internet browser and also content consumer uh, consumption uh, device. Do you guys envision uh, these two devices to be on the desktop or in the living room? Or what kind of environment do you guys envision it um, to be in? The, really, the neat thing about the design of the VSD220 uh, and uh, pardon me, the 240, and also the first generation 220 is the versatility of it. You can put it anywhere if, if you want to. Even though it's not really designed for mobility, like carry out to the shopping mall, but it's a fairly easy device to move around the house. So you can put this as a recipe viewer in your kitchen, or you can just mount it on your bathroom wall when you're taking a bubble bath, right? So essentially the versatility of this thing enables it to be a really um, household-friendly device in any environments. And one interesting uh, thing about uh, this particular device here is that you said it has its capacitive touchscreen, mm -hmm. which is more common in like a phone, right? Absolutely. And most touch monitors uh, today are not capacitive and not not ten finger. Um, can you kind of sort of walk us through uh, why you guys did that and, and what kind of advantages you think it offers? Absolutely. Um, so for any touch monitors, what you want is you want accuracy, you want speed, you want respons res responsiveness, right? So if you look at this monitor, this is a you can see the difference, it's edgeless or frameless compared to any traditional monitor, right? So it's really designed for the Windows 8 experience, where you have the trombar on the side, you have to get this out uh, as fast as you can. You don't want to have any trouble with it. Um, the second thing about it is, um, in a household environments where you have, um, you, you, you could have things on it, right? In, in an optical touch environments where there's an object on the screen, it will create a shadow. Right, it will interfere with your touch experience. For, but for this, only a conductive object will, was, that would be your finger, right? It will make sure the accuracy and experience you have on this thing. And uh, last question, uh, the price and release dates for all three, well, I know you said the middle one doesn't have it, it's a TBA, but the other two, the price and release date? Um, for this, we're looking at the street price are about um, seven, uh, 800 bucks. 
Uh, this is uh, the MRC, uh, MRC RP is a, a, about above a hundred thousand uh, dollars, but street price of eight hundred bucks uh, ish for the uh, VST two forty. Uh, I believe the the street price is uh, about six hundred bucks or seven hundred bucks. And uh, release date. Sorry. A release date for the devices. Uh, we're launching the TD twenty seven forty at CES, so it's going to be out there pretty soon. Uh, the VST two forty is coming out uh, very soon too. I think in the first quarter. So um, all these going to be um, out in the market very 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 uh, shortly. Okay. Actually, I did have one more question. That is the four K monitor. What is the resolution uh, exactly? Uh, the four K resolution is basically it's four times of the standard full HD uh, resolution you have on any any monitor so if you do the if you do the calculations th uh, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong but I believe it's 3640 times 2160 so that's two times of the resolution you get on a standard was is what well, the, the number is two times but the resolution is four times cool cool uh, thank you so uh, there you have it uh, ViewSonic's booth uh, at uh, CES thank you for watching